Mail call. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem, now let's see. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travel, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. If you... I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check. Check it out. Hello fellow gamers, welcome to my brand new let's play of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. This is the very first episode. Sorry for my terrible Luigi accent, it was a terrible voice and we probably will never have to listen to it again. But yeah, this is going to be a fun let's play. Um, this game I do tend to like a lot more than the first one. Since the first one was the one when I really came out of my shell I find and I feel like I really got comfortable let's playing. And... Then is the prologue, your rogues welcome. I really do like the chapter introduction sequences, it's really cool. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Apparently Mario was sleeping standing up or something, because opening his eyes gives him a perfect view of the island. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Doesn't even look like the boat's moving. Just rocking up and down. <coughs> I must apologize, so our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I I did tell you the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say it. Don't say I didn't warn you. And finally, we have a con we have control of Mario. It tells you where you are, which is kind of you know, that's a great way to start the let's play. Falling into the water. Anyway, yeah, the game will actually let you fall into the water, and you'll take one hit of damage. Yes, we already have our hammer hitting the B button. Controls are still the same as the original Paper Mario, except now it's on the GameCube. Um, we can look at our start menu. We have Mario gear and journal. Obviously, this will get filled up eventually. Um, as you can see, there's a new item here that you can collect called Shine Sprites. I'll get into those when we find them. I'm just going to save my game for the first time. It's not like it really matters. And just like the last Let's Play in the bottom corner here, we're going to have my stats and be able to keep track of it. You can hit up. Let's see. Oh, I guess you can't see my stats with any certain button. I'm sure there's a button that you can use to see your stats. But yeah, the stats are in the bottom left. Um, that doesn't block out too much, but it will block out one thing, and I will point out, oh, wait, well, hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal story. Well, now I'm good. Now I'm doing the asking to be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say, you creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh, buh, buh. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. 
As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, no, stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream, really! Oh, well, looks like we have to do something about this. I gotta go anywhere with some smelly lunatics like you. <laughs> Not likely. What? What did you think you do it, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? <laughs> God, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumpa bomb. Whoa, we're already into our first battle of the game. Ah, and we can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat the freak to week. Well, I don't know, into next week. Just jump on him or use your hammer. Same things as before. Um, luckily we get our action commands right away. And you saw there I did a stylish command. Basically, I don't care what you're saying. We already have our action commands. We can hit A when he's attacking us. We can hit A when we do our attacks. Um, stylish commands, well, they'll come in handy a little bit later. But right now, they're, it's just a means of hitting the A button at the right time. And you get stylish points. And I'll explain the ones you actually need. I don't care if I'm giving him a whaling. Aha, uh -huh, I blocked your attack. And of course, and if you didn't see it, it's, it's probably already off the screen by now, but I'm putting stats of all the guys we're facing on the screen, just like in Paper Mario 1. Oh, you got star points. Yeah, I bet you know that if I get 100 star points, yes. Just like in Paper Mario 1, if you get 10 star points, you level up. As I mean, not 10 star points, 100 star points, you level up. Bo, 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 ho, ho. Okay, you got a couple decent shots, and I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Punish him! I'm sure the GameCube was able to like render all this and actually be pretty good with it. Click! This way! Whew! That was a bunch of loons just sneak out of here. What do you say? The funny thing is you can actually go in here and just be like, Oh hey guys, what's going on? The battle going well? Good job. Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? In, did anyone? Huh? Huh? Crud, they bolted. <sighs> we'll get into the story of what those guys were in a little bit. Wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. I've got to give you a little reward. That nah, wasn't worth it. My name's Goobella, I'm a student at the University of Goon. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it. But sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? So you're looking for a legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What you got, what you got there? Oh my gosh! This, this is a treasure map. You have to tell me where you got this. Princess Peach? What? Great hoggly boggly, if it isn't Master Mario. A bit of coincidence bumping into another in the sort of place, hmm, ho ho. So tell me, Mar Master Mario, what in the world brings you to the wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Hmm, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in the town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only take my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong is she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear to I fear we em must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, in this... And this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend to particularly find... Okay, we know how the inn works, Toadsworth. Hot fights, hey? Um, Princess Peach, 
Did you mean like the peach of the Prince of the Mushroom Kingdom? The princess who always gets an ad by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map. Well, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone? Then, do you think... You think maybe she got stuck in waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Hmm. Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombilla joined our party. Yeah, I'm not going to do the whole bio thing. Uh, Goombella is exactly the same as Goombario, in case you weren't aware. She's exactly the same as Goombario in every way. I'm not even going to bother. Just yeah, I know how she works. She is slightly better than Goombario, though, with the moves that she learns combat-wise. First off, we got to go find my professor. Blah, blah, blah. He looks like you saw the picture. Um, you'll notice, actually... Well, we also now have a party. You know, she actually has health this time. Yes, your party actually has health, and they can take damage, and they don't get knocked out for a few turns. I was always intrigued the fact that they had gallows just, you know, in here. Um, X button. The X button is the new button for activating things, not C down. And I don't think we really have much time left this episode to... Hey, by the way, Mr. Mar uh, I don't care. I know I've saved. So the one thing I can really do left this episode, so I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go over here. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me. Made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Ah! Oh, squitch. <laughs> ah! Idiot, you stepped on my poor contact lens. I told you not to move, and you stupid ears work. What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate in the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. And she's gonna block you up pretty handily. I think that's really all we have time for, so I'm just gonna... Like, I could go on with the rest of the prologue, but next episode on Paper Mario The Thousand New Door, my brand new Let's Play for episode two. Uh, we're going to be probably even completing the first chapter. Well, not the first chapter, but the, the prologue. Oh, and there you go. There's the stats. You just have to sit still long enough. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.